What's up guys, I'm Dayak and welcome back to episode 5 of Dishonored. Um, I left off at the house of the, or the office of Dr. Galvani and the old granny asked me if I could get a diseased rat plague or diseased rat's uh, guts because it contains the rat plague or the plague. So um, let's go. As you can see I have a, just a bit of health so I, use, I have to use stealth killing these guys. Yeah, I was I was just a bit Rambo-like in the, in the start, so that's why I have a lot, uh, just a little bit of health. All right, got all those guys. Oh, a, li a little tip: when you find health elixirs, don't use them right away. So if you look further, you you can find an apple, some pears, some grapes, and look at my health. It's almost, you know, almost forty percent. Oh, some blood sausage. Holy, what was that? I use health. That was too. Did I? Yeah, never mind. All right, so um, not a health elixir. Yeah, just you know, scavenge through the entire building. Just look for look for edible things like bread. But I don't need it right now because my health is full. But yeah, just you know, scavenge and uh, explore the entire area. Just gonna have some coin and a key. Just gonna look here. You can look in oh, bolts. You can look in closets, bullets. There's some more bolts here. No, oh, that's actually nice. So I have six bullets now, and I found them in maybe a minute. So it really pays off. Let's see. Is there anything here? Nope. All right. So the red sera or the guts are up there. Let's go. Sorry. All right. Um, so here's, but it's not. This is not the office. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna scavenge. Look, some guns. So I found two bullets actually. So when you already have a gun, when you find another one, it doesn't get that gun necessarily. It only gets the bullet. So when you pick up a gun and you already have the same gun, it will only acquire the bullet. So I don't I don't know if you can have have a dual wield um, two of those guns you know in dual wield, but I'm not sure. So I'm not I'm not that far into the game, but you know it would be kind of fun to have that. All right, just let us look through. There's nothing here. All right, let's go to the to his office. All right, so there's his office. Just gonna. Take a quick peek here. Nothing special. All right. Um. Let's see. Nope. No bullets. Nothing. You can actually interact with stuff like this. That's nice. You know, it gives it gives the game more. Let's see. Uh, you you could say freedom. You know, you can interact with stuff. You can pick this up and throw it and stuff like that. Even this sink, so that that's that's a nice touch. Um, all right, let's see. More bread. Those scary. Um, what is this? Poor rat fetus. Oh, where's where's the fetus? Oh, some more health. The key. Oh, actually, I know that you have to go in here because I, you know, I died in a few minutes, but, um, yeah, you can see the reels here or the track lines here. And you have to use this fake book to, to open it. So that's also nice. All right. There is, there it is. This is the plague infected rat. So, oh, some more money. Yeah, you can use the money for to upgrade your weapons and and a lot of other stuff. So if you if you don't know what to use it, just go back to the to the pub. There's a there's like a blacksmith. I think you you see him in in 
part 2 of my series you can use the money to upgrade your weapons and, and abilities alright we got the red plague or plague infected infected rat we need to kill these guys come on <laughs> you actually hear him hear him yelling All right, let's go out. So we got the rat plague, and it was actually in order of 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 the old granny. I don't know what she's gonna use it for, but yeah, we'll find out. Attention, Dunwall citizens. The following businesses have been closed and impounded by the state due to contamination. Hmm. Let's see if there's anything here. Oh, a room. Want to get that one? Oh, and you can use the rooms to upgrade your uh, magician skills. So I recommend, I recommend finding them. Come on. All right, let's um, let's see. What can we upgrade? You have four runes. What is this? Wind blast. Very powerful wind that can kill enemies by throwing them into walls and shattered doors. Um, this devouring swarm. No, we don't want that. Bend time. That's cool. What's this? Uh, allows control of animal targets for a short duration. Um, let's see, this is hard, shadow kill, unaware enemies who don't see you turn to ash as they die, no we don't want that, I'm actually gonna use the, uh, the time bending stuff, alright, alright let's try, Time bend. So where do we have to go? Whiskey. I'm actually gonna find some more. I'm actually gonna get those bone charms. I don't know what to what to use them for. I think I heard a a voice say that it was for your health. So your health increases. So let's let's just try that out. Um. Let's see. Where, where do we have to go? Just gonna jump. Jump down here. You guys want to fight? Oh, it's actually up there. Bitch. Holy crap. Alright, um... Anyone there? How can you? Oh. I owe you, brother. I won't ask about the mask. I wouldn't want my face seen either pulling a stunt like that. You know what? I'll return the favor. Come by Griff's shop. That's my business. Well, it was at one time, but now I'm reduced to scavenging things from here and there as the city dies. If you need anything, I wouldn't mind trading for a little money. Maybe someday the plague will blow over and everything will go back to normal. But until then, it's scavenging for me. A pirate life for me. Alright, some more coin huh? coins. Um, some meat. Or some food. Eh, that's, that's gross. Alright, um, let's see. Can we go, go up there? Where's the bone charm? Where? Bone charm was right here. Oh, there it is. 
Bone charms provide small supernatural benefits. Locate them by listening to the song they emit. Um, J to equip. All right, health, the appetite, foods. Oh, so this one makes food heal slightly more. That's good. We actually have two more runes. What should we do? Wind blasts. Um, let's see. Jump height is increased. Fall damage. I'm gonna use this one. Or I'm gonna choose that one. Some more health. Alright, where shall we go? It's this place. Yeah, that's actually a good idea. I'm gonna save quickly here. Save, save game. All right. Um, what is this place? Entering hostile zone. Nope. Not gonna you do that. I'm actually just gonna go to uh, go to Granny. I don't know where to go. How can you see your objectives? Travel through the gate to Holga Square. Yeah, I, I'm, I need to go to Holga Square. Wanna look at some of the things I found? Good prices, I swear. Alright, let's go. Oh, this is cool. We have 328 28 coins. I'm gonna get some bolts. And some bullets. Yeah, that's good. That's enough. Alright, let's go to Holger Square. I'm actually gonna try this time bending ability. When I see a hostile person so all right so we are actually going to try to kill that that overseer or should I get go to granny yeah I'm gonna f I'm first gonna go to granny I don't know exactly where where she was but No screw it, I'm not I'm not gonna go there. It's just a side quest anyway. Alright. Overseer, here I come. That guy was actually the one in part one who you saw getting painted in the in the first look. Alright, um, let's see. Overseer Martin. Hello. I hear the second day is when the skin really starts to come all the way off. Is that true? Or is it the itching that really gets you? What a sight you are in that mask. I know who you are and what you're here to do. And I can help. Unlock me and I'll buy you a drink in a couple of days. By the void, I'll buy you a hundred drinks. One hundred drinks. That's that's good, that's good. <sighs> Feels good to stand up straight. <sighs> Thank you, Corvo. What you're here to do tonight is of the highest importance. We've got to find Emily. So kill Campbell and make it quick. Once it's done, search his body for the journal. His notorious black book. And get out of there. Campbell is meeting with a guard named Kernow. 
And word from my informant is that Campbell is going to poison you. Maybe you can use that to your advantage. Hmm. All right, I won't be of any help here, so I'll make my own way back to the Hound Pits pub. If I see Samuel the Boatman, I'll tell him to pick you up in the backyard, behind the office of the High Overseer. May all the spirits guide you, and may our enemy's head hit the floor without you taking a scratch. Huh, <laughs> that's nice. Alright, I'm actually gonna end the episode right here. Um, thank you guys for watching. In the next episode, I think I will be killing killing the uh, Overseer. Um, so yeah, please rate, subscribe, and comment, and see you in episode 6.